Hi, welcome to Navigating Change with Christy and Rick. Hey, welcome back. You know, in our last video, we talked about the importance of, of listening. And for us, when we start an engagement, that's one of the first things that we do to make sure we understand where the project's going and what people are hoping to, uh, to get out of it. So we do a, a number of things to, to approach that. And, and two of them, which I'll talk about, and then Chris will get into a, a couple others here, uh, have to do with um, talking to stakeholders. And when we talk about stakeholders, we're talking about the leadership team, the middle management supervisor level, as well as those key stakeholders stakeholders who are going to be affected by the, the project impacts. Uh, the way we go about that it takes a, uh, shape in a, in a couple forms. That can be a focus groups, it can be a quantitative survey, and a lot of times it's both. And frankly, if we have an option, we like to start with doing a survey which actually captures a lot of that empirical data that we're going to want to build on um, from the focus group opportunity to dig in a little bit deeper and get some of the stories behind why people think the way they are. Um, some of the things that, you know, in our experience that have come out of that have, it has to do a lot to do with culture, uh, the success of prior projects, um, how they feel about what's going to, how the change is going to impact them uh, personally as well as professionally. Um, and a lot of times, like even when we get into focus groups, I've had situations where um, a manager will try to sit in with their team uh, in, a, in a group and I can, and they'll say to me, hey, I'm fine, it's an open door policy, I, we can, people will speak freely and I watch all the eyeballs in the room go down. And then we, what we have to do is make sure that the manager knows that they have their own group separate and that we need to give that, that freedom and confidentiality uh, for the, the, the team members to be able to speak up and share their thoughts relative to the project. So uh, a lot of that groundwork that's done in that listening phase is gonna really help craft our strategy both from the project strategy standpoint as well as from a change strategy. So we don't come in as a one size fits all, this is the way we're gonna do it and it's all prescribed in, in advance. What we do is we use that to build our change strategy and actually tailor it for each of our clients and make sure that what we're delivering and the tools that we have and the systems and processes that we have uh, are gonna be successful for that organization and that specific project. And christy has got a couple other things that we use as well to help us in that endeavor. Absolutely. And because we don't do anything out of the box, because we come in and we listen, the other pieces that we do are assessments. So we've got a project change framework assessment that we do where it really looks at where is your stability, um, what is your three-legged stool between sponsorship, uh, project management, and change management. And we can see um, potential opportunities within some of those gaps between those three. Uh, we really love to come in and do a sponsorship assessment. It is actually a self-assessment that we ask your leadership to do and they basically look at themselves and say how have I handled change in the past have I been active and visible um, have I created a network and support within my management team and then lastly it also looks at communication the other option that we have to do is when you go into documenting your business processes, we like to sit in on those. What we're able to do is we're really able to see those pain points that people are experiencing. Um, they can be very vocal about those during those sessions. This is the way it works for me. Um, we also find resistance in those sessions. Um, we can hear people saying, I've done it this way for 20 years. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be supportive of this new project and these new changes. Uh, the other thing that we focus on too is KPIs. KPIs are really important to determining the success and making sure that you are tracking the success of any type of endeavor or project that you see. That's right, Christy. In fact, that's a really good point on that process mapping component too, because it what you start to see is people realizing that they can benefit from this personally. So that gets into the what's in it for me. So part of that listening is helping making that connection to what might be a high level objective around a particular project and making it relevant to them and how they're gonna benefit from them. So making sure that we capture those things and a lot of times we can get those as well in the focus groups on what could be better, how can I improve on this? And at the end of the day, it's really about that ownership and buy-in that we're, we're trying to capture across the enterprise and and making sure that they're they become the drivers so that this is as much of a top down as, as it is a bottom up approach uh, to, to change success and making sure that the sponsors and the leadership team understand where their teams are coming from, which we'll talk about in future um, broadcasts around some of those roles that those people play. But again, at the, at the cornerstone of all this is making sure we listen up front 
tailor the change program for that, not only for that organization, but for that project and understanding um, how we're going to be successful and what tools then come into play to make it a success overall. Absolutely. So if you have any questions or want to contact us, you can go to our website at panorama-consulting.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. See you next time. Thanks.